Hey, what's up guys? My name is Peter, also known as Styler, and welcome to my channel called Centic. If you're new, then please subscribe for more upcoming videos. In this video, I'm going to review the Elephone A5. And if you're interested in this product, then please check out the links below in the video description. The phone comes with all the usual stuff like a 5V 2A wall charger, USB Type-C cable, SIM tray pin, English quick start guide and a clear TPU cover. The included cover is completely clear and gives the sides and back good protection. Some say that this is kind of a copy of the Huawei P20, but to be honest, they in fact don't have much in common. On the back we have glass and in the light it looks stunning. The color goes from blue to black to pink. The phone supports dual SIM, dual standby. It uses a hybrid SIM tray where you can use two nano SIMs or one nano plus one micro SD card. On the front we in the top find two cameras which according to Elephone should be on 20 megapixel plus 2 megapixel. The frame is of gun grey metal and on the left we find the SIM tray. In the bottom we have the microphone together with a USB Type-C port and built-in speaker. On the right we have a fast side fingerprint sensor, round power button and volume keys. And last in the top some antenna lines and a 3.5mm headphone jack that provides good sound. On the back we in the bottom see the Elephone logo and in the top three cameras and a LED flash. The triple camera is according to Elephone on 12, 5 and 0.3 megapixels. The sound quality is average but let's here try a music test. One of the big highlights is the side fingerprint sensor, which on the A5 is extremely fast with high accuracy. It is without doubt the best I yet have tried, it simply never fails. And I am surprised to see how good Elephone managed to optimize it. And inside the settings you can also use it together with App Lock to lock certain private apps. Another unlock feature is of course Face Unlock, also known as Face ID, and it actually works pretty good both in daylight and in the night where it lights up, although it still could be a little bit faster. The phone allows you to use normal on-screen buttons, where you can also change the style and look. But you can also enable gesture navigation, so you just need to swipe up from the bottom, just like on the OnePlus 6T or iPhone 10, and overall this works pretty good. Out of the box the phone comes with Elephone's own stock launcher. It is snappy and almost without any kind of lag. The Google Play Store comes pre-installed, plus some few extra apps like sound recorder, flashlight and a FM radio. Wallpapers can be changed on both the home and lock screen with no problems. And the launcher also support app shortcuts when you press and hold on the icons. You can enable or disable the app drawer and the launcher has support for different cool themes, where you can change icons and style. In the top, where you slide down the notification bar, there is a small gap that doesn't look so nice, and the icons are very close. And that indicates that the software still needs to be polished. I also made a full scan of the device with Kaspersky to see if it is clean, and as you see here, no malicious software was found. The phone runs with Android 8.1 and while I tested the phone, I actually got one OTA update that fixed some bugs like the missing camera video autofocus and bad camera LED flashlight. The fingerprint sensor can also be used as a shortcut for apps, so if you double tap on it, it can for example directly open the YouTube app. All this you can customize in the phone settings. 
scrolling and operation is basically smooth, but still not quite on level with the more expensive flagship models. But for the average user, it is for daily use more than enough and features like split screen etc. does of course also work fine. In the settings we also find support for my revision. The LCD display support 5 point multi-touch that works perfectly. And the viewing angles are overall good on the 6.18 inch LCD display which offers a sharp and colorful experience. So now watch this. Here you clearly see the notch in the game Asphalt 9. Let's go into the phone settings. Then advanced. And then the concave area display control. Let me try to disable it and then jump back into the game. And yeah, now you see that the notch is gone. Moving on to the performance. Thanks to the built-in MediaTek Helio P60 chip, the A5 scores close to 132,000 in Antitu, which is pretty good for a phone in this price class. Gaming is great, and here you see Asphalt 9, which wants flawless with high graphics. The phone does get a bit hot on the back while gaming, but that's normal for a phone using the Helio P60 chipset. While I tested the A5, I unfortunately found out that the triple camera setup is fake, because there's only found software for three. With the latest OTA update, the autofocus for the video camera now got fixed. Out of the box, this didn't work and the focus was always the same. But now it instead seems to suffer of autofocus hunting all the time while moving, which is kind of disturbing. The camera also supports electronic image stabilization, but even with that turned on, video unfortunately still looks kind of shaky. I noticed something called 3D for still pictures. I'm not sure if this is a pure software gimmick or because of the triple camera setup. When I look at it, it seems just to distort the image and not really show more detail. The bokeh mode is real and works, and it is possible to shoot some nice pictures with a soft background, depending on the scene. The overall picture quality is good. I do see detail that I don't see on cheaper phones, and the colors are also pretty lifelike. But it is not on flagship level, a Huawei P20 or Note 9 will still capture more detail. The rear flashlight also works okay. I didn't experience any box of problems with that, maybe because I updated the phone with the latest OTA, but it is only really good for close-up shots. The front camera is on level with the rear camera. It is able to capture good detail, but I'm not completely sure about the secondary camera. It does come with info when you try to cover it, but it could also still just be a manipulated distance sensor. Inside this phone we have a 4000 mAh battery, a big battery but because of the Helio P60 which uses a lot of power, only around one day with normal usage is possible. Fast charging does kind of work, but it's not overwhelming. With the included 5V 2A charger, I was able to charge from 0 to 30% in about 30 minutes. Regarding the GPS, it works and has support for GLONASS and COMPASS, but the signal lock is kind of slow and the reception could also be stronger and more stable. For me not quite on level with other China phones in the same price class. As for built-in sensors, the phone has it all. And the phone is also compatible with 360 VR, which works fast and stable. And here you can see that the gyroscope works perfect. The Wi-Fi speed is really top, and here you see a Wi-Fi speed test. The earpiece delivers good quality, the same for the microphone. And the network connectivity is good, with support for 3G, 4G and with band 20 plus some special bands for US users. So now to my final verdict. The Elephone A5 is a solid and beautiful phone with some pros and cons. The camera is able to shoot some nice still pictures and has real bokeh mode and a 3D gimmick feature. The side fingerprint sensor is one of the best I have tried and face unlock also works good. The gaming performance and display is nice and it offers a lot of convenient features in the software. On the bad side, it is missing a notification LED, 
I was disappointed about the Elephone implementing fake cameras. The battery life could be much better. And on some areas, the software still seems a bit unpolished. Also, it is completely missing features like NFC and wireless charging that some users may find important. But in the end, it's up to you and your personal requirements. Personally, I say it is a nice and interesting phone, but there are other phones out that offer more features for the same money. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Drop a like if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.